Hello, Excel users. Uh, welcome to the Smart Excel. This video is about handling errors in Power Query. When you have a database or when you have two sheets and uh, the differences in two sheets is, is very difficult to identify. So you would like to have see that, or if you have more sheets, see whenever you have the information it's not properly calculated so this is so if you have more than 10 15 or 100 sheets and uh, if there is some error in the columns then it's difficult to rectify the errors and if you have these errors automatically you will get the it will show error in your excel workbook so if you want, we create a new Excel file for the comparison. So I will be copying the address bar and I will be opening this. So when you go to data and one folder. In case this, which like you can do also browsing, but directly you can also paste this and uh, you can do OK. So now you can transform data. So we don't want to work in the comparison sheet, so you can deselect this and select this sheet which you want so open the one into and then you can remove other columns and uh, add a formula for this to retrieve the database And uh, in this you should you should only have the main table, so you will be selecting the main data in the main table. And again, you can select this and bring other columns. So now you have to get this this in the upper upper part. So you can go and remove the top row one, and from here you can use this first row as a header. So you don't want to change anything, but still this is the things you would like to delimite. So you can give your tab and dots it will give a separator from this and you can make this into one column so you can give this a name as a window So the always the name is just, just remove this first and make this as a window. So there are two forty two rows and then the total. Now the issue is this this is minimum. You can detect this from here. It gives into a whole number. Well, the same thing can do for the decimal number here. But when you give a decimal number here, so you can see there are errors. So apart from this 
errors how to remove this error and but i'm going to show you how to check the description you can see the description over here is not in a proper way so you can go this select this column and go to transform it's in transform only then just trim this so now it is in a proper order so it's like a trim function actually so this is the uh, this is the tip number one and now you have when you have errors you uh, apart from that there is a duplication here so you can just remove this null and see the number here you can remove this so now the errors will be reduced but still you can see errors because we have k in the data type now if i make this into text it's okay but still i'm getting error but if you you can see you can see in a previous video that if you don't make this into total into a decimal and don't change this uh, into a decimal um, data type if you don't ch ch change this into a data type your pivot table will not work the sum functions will not work only the count functions will work so it will just give you a count, it will not give you the totals and it will not add. So how to deal with error is what I'm going to tell you in this video about. So the tip number one was to trimming this. And the tip number one two I'm going to show you is how to deal with this error. So first of all, when you have error, that is because I showed you in our Excel sheet. So what you can do is you can close this, close and load. So there are 22 errors. You can go directly to these errors also. And here also you can check the errors. So you can see all these are in error format. So it will give you separately in this error format. But if you don't want to deal with this, so it is going 22 errors. So if you don't want to deal with this, just go to load two and make this only a creation and say okay but still there will be errors but, but if you make this into a pivot table also there will be errors so if i want to load this two and i want to make a pivot table report see there are errors and my data will not give the right answer i'll be getting the errors and issues so if i make this into And if I so my data tender will, will not complete, you will have some issues, and the things which are having errors will not be shown. So, what I, I can manually I can go to each sheet. And I can keep on changing this. So I will keep on changing this manually. But I don't want to do this because going and doing manually, if there are more than 100 sheets, it is not going to be effective at all. So make this into a creation. And I will double click this. And I will come back to my Power Query and how to deal with this error now. So only what you have to do is if you have an error, just select the column and go to transform and you replace error so replace the error value into a zero so you can see now the error is gone now the text and the one has been replaced so you can't you don't if you want you should, if you can't uh, find a formula and type that replace this error into some and you should make another 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 uh, total for this one and then again you have to merge so it's a hectic position a hectic 
calculation and hectic process. So the best thing is you can just give an, uh, a value for replace value errors or replace errors and it will change it. So now if you go and close and load, and now if you want to load to a pivot table report or whatever it is, so now you can see there are no errors. So the error has been reduced. And now if you want to have data, we can use the pivot table and we can sort the data and get the desired results. So I hope you got how to deal with the errors in the way of replacing format and uh, how to deal with this error because this error is a very big error and uh, changing it sheet by sheet is not going to help at all. So I'll be showing you in the next videos how to deal with unpiloting these things. And uh, I will be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, let's hope to meet again soon.